Hey guys, welcome to my channel, Divine Elements. So I'm going to do a collective tarot reading for you guys today. Tarot readings are for entertainment purposes only. We are going to jump right into the tarot. We're going to use this beginner's tarot. Um, I believe I got this one on Etsy, for those of you that ask. We have Judgment. God, Michael Spirit, what are we reading on today for the collective? What are we reading on today for the collective? Empress. Knight of Pentacles. I just heard Enjoy the Ride. March 20th could have been significant for you guys. The Emperor, Divine Counterparts, 101 on the clock. 34 could be significant, and 43. 420 could be significant. Maybe someone smokes weed. But I'm also getting April 20th. Way too many. Seven eleven could be significant. What else are we reading on? Seven of Swords, Four of Wands. Someone's keeping some kind of secret about a house situation. King of Wands. Nine of Swords. It's almost like someone wants to pursue something, but they're in their head about it. What else? Queen of Pentacles. 211 could be significant for you guys. November 2nd as well. Alright, why judgment? The hangman with the eight of pentacles. There's work that's needed to be done. The hangman is a, an energy that the divine purposely puts you on to get you to see things in a different perspective. But I'm also getting like there's some kind of epiphany to do with work and finances. Could be working on patience as well. Manifestation skills. Maybe some of you need to start manif manifesting. Like writing down your manifestations. Also affirmation. Affirmations. Some of you could um actually write... I don't think I've ever gotten this in a reading, but some of you could actually write like exotic poetry and I'm getting that um, you should release that sexual energy because the magician is very sexual energy as well. January could be significant, but release that sexual energy through your creative endeavors. It could be you, Divine Feminine, because I looked over. Why the Empress for the Collective? God, Michael, Spirit, why the Empress for the Collective? Yeah, you're needing to rest, get your energy back. Someone could have been like an energy vampire stealing your energy. And it was making you, I just heard discombobulated. But you're needing to create your own sanctuary is what I'm getting. Justice. Yeah, everything's happening for a reason. Everything's going to work out for you. December could be significant for you guys. Something could have happened in September. Oh, December, not September. Sorry. Six of Cups, Three of Wands in the Moon. Yeah, there's some kind of anxieties to do with moving forward. Some fears. I just heard of being left alone. You know, I said September and eight and one makes nine. Yeah, look at this, guys. Five of Cups. This could be why you've been moving slowly. Is this energy here. 
this nostalgic energy could have to do with children. Some of you can be from a foreign country. There's some kind of misunderstanding, though. You're not seeing something clearly. You could need to work on some insecurities as well. You got to mourn the loss of something. Your emotions are too, um, I don't want to say unstable in a bad way, but you're needing more control over it. Yeah, you got to, you got to be your own happiness. Someone could be pregnant or going to a baby shower because I'm being drawn to the baby shower over here. When I split the deck, okay, why the Knight of Pentacles for the Collective? God, Michael Spirit, what? That is too many, too many. I'll show you what we have. Queen of Swords on the bottom. Eight of Wands flipped in the deck. We have the Ten of Wands. Oh, sorry, the Ten of Pentacles. So I mistakenly said the Ten of Wands. So there could be a lot of stress over some family dynamic or finances in general. We do have the Nine of Pentacles, which is the Minor Arcana of the Empress. So it does seem like there was a shift in the Divine Feminine Collective where your energy went back here. Because for a little bit, we were pulling just like Queen of Pentacles energy or Queen of Swords. But the Empress wasn't coming out, but the Emperor kept coming out. Um, and we did see the moon card. So with the Empress and the moon card that came out, it's definitely Divine Feminine Energy. Two of Pentacles. Yeah, you could be single right now. Um, yeah, I'm getting a lot of eyes on you. People are watching you, like trying to figure out your next move. Birds chirping. There could be gossip about you, too. It could have to do with some family dynamic as well. Some inheritance. Could be you're an out-of-the-box thinker and people are talking about it. You're in your head and you have your boundaries up over some choice situation. Could be between two people. But this also could just be that you're in your head about love in general. Six could be significant. Four and two is what I just got in my head. So February, April. The divine is telling you that you don't need to worry Someone's going to express their love to you. Yeah. They're in their head, though, a lot. About whether or not to give to this situation. Look, that Ten of Wands that I was saying earlier. Okay, I want to just get one. Let's get these energies to calm down a little bit. Focus. God, Michael, Spirit. God, Michael, Spirit. One card. For the Knight of Pentacles for the Collective. Thank you. Four of Pentacles. You guys could need to release a little bit more control in this situation. This could be why things are moving slowly. You're trying to do things right, though. I'm getting, like, um, building some kind of foundation. Not wanting it to be like the past. You're being practical, which is good. Yeah, Divine Feminines, it could be towards this Emperor. So you guys may or may not be in contact with this person, but you are treading carefully. You see how the Empress is here, and then this Knight of Pentacles is looking at this Emperor. Four of Cups. It could be because of rejection or like some kind of missed opportunity. But try not to stay in a negative mindset. Yeah, because you're meant to have a new beginning here. Like this rebirth. Seeds are, are planting and your, your harvest is going to come into fruition. It could actually be in fall, especially with 10 over here. It's giving me October. Um, the Wheel of Fortune is Sagittarius energy. So I believe that is November. 
This is faded. There's some kind of transformation going on. You could be secluding, secluding yourself from family at the moment as well, Divine Feminines. All right. Why the Emperor and these two immediately came out. 10-15 could be significant. October 15th. Nine of Wands and the Two of Wands. Yeah, someone's in their head about um, making some kind of decision because of past traumas. The Nine of Wands is a wounded warrior being drawn to this ongoing battle. So it's something that keeps coming up for this person, this emperor energy. And um, they could have this mentality like the grass is always greener on the other side type of thing. But it's definitely a restlessness is what I'm getting. Eight of Wands, a fast-moving energy. I just heard in and out, so they could be in and out with you. Oh, you know what else I'm getting with the Nine of Swords and the Eight of Wands? This could have caused anxiety if you guys move too quickly. Yeah, and financially, it could have been burdensome for them. Maybe they were in their head, or like physically, it was a burden for finances for them in this situation it's different for everyone guys just take it how it resonates yeah this person was afraid of some kind of heartbreak like that yeah i just heard that they were afraid you were going to end things so uh so they ended things first yeah controlling the situation it's like that whole um controlled chaos thing so they were afraid that you were going to break their heart and end something um so they did it before this could be a subconscious thing guys yeah deep rooted childhood with the six of cups here i keep hearing things were moving too fast so this is definitely a soulmate situation. This could also be a friendship because sometimes the two of cups can be a friendship. And we did see the three of cups, which is like a celebration between friends. And there was three there, three here. 1333 could be significant. I'm also getting that a soulmate connection or we did see the lovers. It could be a twin flame divine counterpart. This heartbreak is going to send... Um, yeah, send you guys into some transformation. This release of something. This could be this Divine Masculine as well going through this transformation. Why the Seven of Swords? Six of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. This some kind this sometimes could be like a breadcrumbing card for some readers. So I don't know if this divine masculine like breadcrumbed you and then like pulled away because we did get that in and out of energy. And then the card that came out to clarify the seven of swords was the four of cups, the ace of pentacles, and the eight of swords. Hmm. Who is this? Don Michael Spirit. Who's feeling this? Divine Masculine or Divine Feminine? Who's feeling this? Too many. Who's feeling this? Divine Masculine or Divine Feminine? I just heard both. Someone feels bad for creating a tower. Could be this Divine Masculine with the Sun card. Yeah, look, that chaos again. Someone could feel like they're destructive. With their self-expression. 
Yeah, so you both, um, you both seem like you missed an opportunity, you feel like you missed an opportunity for a new beginning. Uh, but it's all in your head, guys, with the Eight of Swords. You both are riding the fence. This is like a deceptive energy. Yeah, I just heard stealing your happiness. I'm getting that Kelly Clarkson song, Breaking Your Own Heart. Hmm. Yeah, someone needs to listen to that song. I want to just get one, though. Yeah, look, this... The Six of Wands, I just split the deck. The Strength and the Knight of Wands. Yeah, Page of Swords. Wow, Three of Pentacles. Ten of Cups underneath that. I just got Ten Ten. Seven of Wands underneath that. So you guys need to... You guys both want to fight for this connection because you do have emotional fulfillment. But you need to work together on communing communicating things um i just heard clearly but i was gonna so say communicating things well someone definitely could need to work on their throat chakra um i do feel like there is strong de desires for sure like a lot of chemistry and desires with the strength the knight of wands and the six of wands um so sex is not your problem <laughs> in this connection um, you guys could also talk about sex a lot as well with the Page of Swords and the Knight of Wands. But there is some self-worth, some confidence issues that need to occur. Eight could be significant. I'm getting the infinity sign as well with here and here. But yeah, to gain the success, you guys are going to have to work on your confidence and believe in this situation. Guys, if you haven't already, hit that like, subscribe, comment on this video, share this content if you're called to it, please. And thank you. I appreciate all my subscribers and I appreciate all the love, guys. I'm going to get back to answering comments better. I know I haven't been posting videos either as much as I would like to. Um, I've been trying to figure out a schedule and I think I am going to go back to during the day. Because I do work 15 hours in a full-time job. And then I decided <laughs> to start coaching my son's select soccer team. So that's even more time. So I am going to go on a schedule, guys, to get these videos out for you, okay? I promise. God, Michael Spirit, one card only for the Seven of Swords. Ace of Swords. Yeah, you guys are going to gain clarity in this situation. And you're going to realize that... Um, yeah, I just heard that it was all in your head, this fear. So we've seen the Ace of Pentacles twice and now the Ace of Swords. So definitely new beginnings. Look at this. Follow your intuition, High Priestess. Wow, the High Priestess and the Magician with the Two of Swords. Yeah, it's both of you. You both were feeling the same way. And if you are dealing with the Twin Flame... You guys do reflect and mirror each other as well. So if your person is projecting and or um, say, for instance, your person has fear of being in a committed relationship, that fear, especially in a twin flame dynamic, means that you also have that fear. Even if you don't think you do. Excuse me. Confirmation burp. Um even if you don't think you have that fear, there's some kind of deep rooted to where you do have that fear. And um, it can almost come off like a sense of relief in a way. But that's just something that you're having to work on. Four of Cups. You guys got to work on the rejection, like feeling... Feeling like you're rejected. Look at this, guys. I just split the deck with the Hierophant. May 2nd could have been significant. February 5th as well. And the High Priestess. This is Divine Counterparts. We have the Emperor and Empress. You guys are super powerful. This connection is insanely powerful. And then we have the Judgment to start off. Why the Four of Wands? Yeah, I can't ignore this came out in reverse. 
the Three of Swords in reverse with the Four of Wands, which is a Twin Flame reunion card, physical reunion. Yeah, release the pain and overcome depression, positive, optimistic, optimism, and forgiveness. Forgive yourself, forgive each other to be able to release this pain. And this could be a different relationship as well. It doesn't necessarily have to be this relationship or this dynamic or whatever it is for it is for you. Um, but you need to release yeah, I'm hearing doubt. Three of Wands. Look, the plan is already in place. No matter what you guys do or what you choose, it's going to work out. It's going to, yeah, satisfaction. You guys are going to be satisfied. You just can't resist it. The star. Healing is needed. I just got January. Nope, not January. Um, July 17th. Could be significant. 177 as well. Why the Queen of Pentacles? Why the Queen of Pentacles? I just saw uh, the Justice card in my mind's eye. And with the Ace of Swords and the Three of Swords, this actually could be um, a divorce as well, guys. With the Four of Wands. So maybe this Queen of Pentacles is like a wife or a husband energy. There's no gender in tarot. Yeah, look. And then the Fool card comes out. 2121 on the clock. This is you taking a leap of faith. In your divine feminine energy. This is starting new. Being daring. Being adventurous. You know the only person. In the tarot that the emperor listens to. Is the fool. Because there's no. There's no ties. There's no. Um, what's the word. Like the fool doesn't expect anything. From the emperor. So the emperor can can trust this situation 40 could be significant with the four and the zero uh look wow guys this is crazy king of pentacles queen of pentacles with the fool divine counterparts again this is very nurturing this is like husband wife material wife wife husband husband however it is for you guys but this is good energy this is like you guys water each other like, you guys are both stable. You both are nurturing, independent. Like, you guys are willing to work on each other. Like, individually, that is. Look at security and abundance. And Empress is all about abundance and birthing creation. And the Emperor is all about, like, boss energy taking charge. So... These cards that are coming out as your energies is such a successful, damn, it's a successful dynamic. This, um, this King of Pentacles could have recently gone through some kind of ending, but trying to stay optimistic about a new beginning look ace of cups um it's it's also given me at first was this king of pentacles this king of pentacles was waiting for an ending like this king of pentacles was fearful and feeling defeated like waiting for some ending and now i'm not i'm not sure if it's now or future energy but optimistic about some kind of rebirth. There's a lot of love this King of Pentacles has, though. With the Ace of Cups. This is outpouring love. This was love. Uh, love from the divine. Happiness. Look at King of Wands. The King of Wands with the Ten of Wands. Someone could be sexually frustrated as well. But with the Three of Pentacles. This person. You see how this King of Wands is looking at this Ten of Wands? I feel like this King of Wands right now. This Divine Masculine Energy is focused on going after clearing out these burdens. Learning. Growing. Hmm. Yeah, look, the world closing out a cycle. Three could be significant. All right, God, Michael Spirit, what is this divine connection you need to know? 
What is the collective watching right now need to know for their highest and greatest good? We have the Two of Pentacles and the Page of Cups. Find your inner child, guys. Find what you wanted to do when you were a kid. Find the joy. It doesn't matter if people think that you're naive. And look, the fish coming out of the cup, this is spirit. Even if people think that you're blindly following spirit, the Holy Spirit, the divine, the universe, whatever, you, you guys need to... Yeah, I'm hearing you'll come out as a page, but look at this energy. You guys are not pages. You need to find balance. And this could be balancing out um, your connection individually, though. Yeah, something definitely could happen around fall because I'm being drawn to this uh, bountiful harvest again. But yeah, balancing out your money as well. Maybe some of you are psychics. Look at this, the lover, the lovers in the world. 621 could be significant. So I think this is like the summer solstice, the first day of summer solstice. Um, and we're in June right now as this reading is being done. These readings are timeless, but. Tower and the Seven of Cups just was shown. So maybe you guys got a lot... Yeah, a lot of information or a lot of options where you got overwhelmed. Yeah, and forgot it was just about you guys to take it one day at a time. Live in the present moment, guys. It is the gift for a reason. Regret, that that's for the past. You know, overthinking is for the future. But the present, this, this right here, this is happiness. This is you guys filling each other's cups. This is you guys intertwining and connecting with the divine and learning through whatever it is you need to learn. Yeah, and once you get that, things will start moving very quickly. The Knight of Swords is an impulsive energy, but it is backed with love. It's not just communicating quickly. It is, if you look into the tarot, um, the deep history, the Knight of Swords pursues based off of love. Let's pull some Romance Angel Oracle for you guys. God, Michael, Spirit, what does this collective need to know at this time? Retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. Yeah, I'm getting the Hermit card, guys. It's time to think about yourselves and your connection. And just, like, find you is what I'm getting. It is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. 2828. And wow, that's 1010. Divine feminines, pay attention to the red flags. Flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. And this is this is a beautiful energy too for divine feminines. Because your your carefree spirit. Your loving energy. People love that. They soak it up. And it's it's actually... Um, it's, it's definitely an energy you have in abundance. But it doesn't mean that you are like giving your shit away to everyone, guys. That's not what this flirtation, lighthearted energy is. It's more of like a feminine energy is flowy. It's carefree. It's not meant to be this emperor where, you know, they're... They're stern and they're focused. No, it's not that. The empress is who lights, like, lightens up the emperor. Let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. This is both you, divine feminines, and you, divine masculines. Soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. So if you guys are looking for a sign or a confirmation, this is your soulmate. We have wedding. This situation involves marriage when we were talking about divorce. But with the four of wands, this is a reunion card. It also could be a marriage card, a house card. 
Let's get one more for the collective, please. God, Michael, Spirit. One more for this divine connection. New love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Then we have free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. All right, let's get some angel advice. This is the angel therapy deck. God, Michael Spear, what's some advice for this collective watching at this time? What is some advice for the collective watching at this time for their highest and greatest good? All right, law of attraction, which we were talking about this too with the affirmations and manifestations. Relationships and activities that you once, enjo once enjoyed are now changing as you become more sensitive and aware of energies. We have be willing to forgive. This has been a big, big, big subject in all the readings. Guys, it's forgiving yourself. It's forgiving others. It's, it's moving on and clearing that energy. So it releases the blockages from your body as well. You're storing that resentment energy um, when you don't forgive yourself or others. Ask the angels to clear your mind and body of past pain in exchange for peacefulness. So if you're looking for peace, um, 3133, ask the angels for help. I'm being guided to this green, so ask um, Archangel Raphael. Cut your cords. Ask Archangel Michael to clear any old attachments to fear that stem from past relationships freeing you from destructive patterns. What else for this collective? Heal away addictions. A lot of healing energy, guys. It's time. Yeah, and I'm getting the Four of Swords. Um, it's time to let go of behaviors that are blocking you from your heart's desire. Ask Archangel Raphael to help you with this healing. Exactly, guys. Ear chakras. Notice messages that appear as sounds, music, and words from both external sources and within your mind. These messages are real answers to your prayers. Let's get two more. Don Michael Spirit. Two more for the collective watching. Okay, three more apparently. Base chakra, the root chakra, which is all about security and stability and grounding. Choose only positive thoughts to describe your home, career, and finances as your words determine your outcome. So guys, speak life into yourself as well. Uh, make sure you guys are not criticizing yourself and saying those things out loud or saying that it's never going to happen for you. Um, I did see 3303. Um, but just, you know, don't call yourself an idiot, even playing around. Like, words are very powerful. We have shield yourself. Protect yourself from harsh or fear-based energies by envisioning a cocoon of healing light surrounding you. You guys can do this every morning, 3333. Um, every morning when you wake up, just picture a white aura shield light around you and, um, just have that intention that you are protected. Guys, make sure you're saging and using your Palo Santo and, um, doing everything you need to do to protect yourself. Crystals. We have solar plexus chakra. It is safe for you to be powerful and take charge of your life in positive ways. This is also that strength card too, like the, the confidence. Um, again, we're having the lower chakras. So this is usually masculine energy. Um, the masculines are more into the root, the sacral, and the solar, where the feminine energies are the heart, the throat, the third eye, and the crown. Um, but it's all about balancing, especially in twin flame dynamics. It's all about coming together and then keeping that balance. So make sure, like if you are in contact with your twin, make sure if your divine masculine is in their masculine energy, you need to fall back in your feminine energy and then it will become effortless. It will, um, what I've noticed is, um, if there's healing going on or you're healing certain things, it'll flow even better 
than if you guys are refusing or re resisting some kind of healing that is needing to be occurred. Um, that's just a side note for someone. Visualize success. See yourself doing well in this situation and have faith in a, in a positive outcome. Guys, believe that it's going to happen. And it will. Hit that like, subscribe, comment on this video, share this content. I love you guys. Peace.